guys, what is up? And welcome to my last upload of 2023. I can't believe another year is already behind us. So I figured today I'd go through my YouTube analytics and show you a little behind the scenes. I did one of these earlier in the year, but now I figured let's look at the whole year in review, look at all the data, views, watch hours, and revenue from my channel for the past year, open it all up for transparency's sake and go through some of the things that I found interesting. So let's jump in and look at the data. So first, this year was a big year for growth on the channel. I got over 320,000 views in the last year, which is incredible. It's a huge jump up from 2022's numbers, like 83% growth year over year. That is massive, so thank you everybody who checked out a video this year. Now, those 320,000 views, that translates to over 10,300 watch hours. So that's the number of hours people spent watching my content. A little quick math, will tell you that's more than 429 days of consecutive watching, which is more than days than there are in a single year. That is a pretty insane an incredible stat and again pretty significant growth year over year from 22 that was about 41 percent more than last year so almost doubling not quite doubling but pretty close to doubling watch hours year over year so again thank all of you guys for checking out my content now subscribers growth wasn't significantly more than in 2022 this year it was about 15 percent more but that's still a whole lot of you guys that are now subscribed we are currently at 2,448 subscribers, which is not that much in the grand scheme of things, but really when you consider that we started at nothing and none of the content has been promoted or advertised, it's all been organic growth. I don't know, I think it's pretty incredible. So this year we gained 449 new subscribers. Welcome all of you to the channel. Now let's talk about everybody's favorite metric, that's revenue, YouTube AdSense. What did YouTube pay me for all these watch hours, all these views? What did I actually make from YouTube? Not that much, actually. And it's actually slightly down from 2022. It's the only metric, I believe, that is down year over year. But I've made about $1,183 off of YouTube AdSense this year. And I still have to pay tax on that once it hits my business bank account. So really, it's like 20% less than that, which is, again, not that much. But I'm not necessarily doing YouTube for the AdSense right now. It's not my full-time job. It's not the only thing I do for additional revenue on the side in addition to my day job. So this is just a nice perk of what I do, creating content, all that fun stuff. So the highest earning day for AdSense this year was back in August, and we made $10.68 in a single day. Again, that's not a ton, but that's a far cry from where we were you know, just two years ago. And my lowest earning day was actually New Year's Day last year. So almost a full year ago, I'm recording this just at the end of December, 2023. So January 1st of 2023, and we only made $1.23, which is 10 times less than we made on that busiest day. So the comparison is pretty crazy. These numbers aren't huge, but it's still pretty amazing to see the difference from the start of the year to where we are now. So that's the high level stuff. But what actually generated the views, generated the revenues, generated the watch hours, that all of those numbers are based off of. And that's the most interesting part for me because none of the stuff I actually made this year hit hard, went viral, what have you. None of that stuff generated the views that actually generated the revenue, that generated the watch hours. A lot of that was old content or stuff from 22, 21 that I had already put out previously that had already been making me money in the past and that's the power of YouTube really is that the stuff you put out a year ago two years ago this year is going to continue to earn you revenue and generate views and watch hours in perpetuity and if something becomes popular or relevant down the road you're already there you already have an established video already got some some traction on it let's look at what actually performed in my top 10 content wise this year and break down what those saw number one piece from this year was my timepiece gentleman compilation. It generated almost 49,000 views since January, which is crazy. There's a lot of things that happen in the watch world. If you're not interested, I won't bore you, but that is why that piece of content absolutely took off. It was getting decent views last year before when I first put it out, but it really hit off this year, especially in August when we had those big days for AdSense. My second top piece of content is another watch video. It's how to change the strap on the Omega Moon Swatch. And this one, again, it's been around on my channel for a long time, 
But I think as more people are able to actually buy the Moon Swatch because they had a heck of a time obtaining these when they first launched, more and more people are finally getting their hands on them and the prices are coming down. This video is now just continuing to grow and grow and grow. So it had almost 40,000 views this year, which again is incredible to see because it wasn't actually brought out and released this year. It's a long-standing piece of content. Now, my number three video, again, this is another interesting one that's been around for a while. Last year, I had to fix the shower diverter spout in my bathroom, and I just recorded like a very quick, like three-minute video and put that up, and this year, it got 30,422 views. So it's my number three top video. I guess a lot of people are having shower problems, but also, I guess with the current economy being what it is, more people are trying to DIY, and take care of easy to do repairs around the house when they can rather than paying a handyman. So kudos to all 30,400 of you for doing this yourself and thanks for watching this particular video. My number four, and there's another one down this list as well, is a video about my LG wash tower. Again, this was something that I bought a year ago when I renovated my laundry room, how it works in my laundry setup video. It got 22,000 views. I get a lot of questions about the wash tower. I think because of the price and the features that it offers, it's something that definitely intrigues a lot of people, even if they're not in market. So it's really fun and cool to see that it's still ranking really, really high. And the same can be said for my number five piece of content with over 13,000 views, which is the Remarkable 2 How to Change the Tip on Your Marker video. So the Remarkable 2 tablet, it's an e-ink reader. It comes with a little pe pencil or marker that has a special tip so you can actually write on the e-ink display. You can't just use any old stylus. It's not extremely difficult to replace the tip, but it's definitely not that clear based on the box that comes with the Remarkable 2. So 13,000 of you have watched this video and thank you for making it my number five piece of content. Now in the number six spot is my first short that got enough views to make the list. And it's on this Louis Vuitton bracelet here. This is the men's Keep It Demier canvas bracelet. I bought this over a year ago when I was in Hawaii in 2022. But now that piece of content is surfacing and becoming more and more relevant. I guess people are buying it or they're just interested. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's the number six video on my channel this year with 12,900 views. And going back again to the wash tower, the number seven video this year with 10,900 views is about how loud the wash tower is when it's being operated. I think it's very quiet. Some people think it's very loud. So lots of good conversations on this video happening all the time. Lots of comments being brought in and it's my number seven video of the year. So our number eight video is the second short on this list. It's the last short on this list and it's the only video that came out this year. And it was my unboxing that did very quickly of the Remarkable 2 Type Folio, which is the keyboard case for the Remarkable 2. It got 9,040 views, which is pretty incredible. And that's literally just this year. Pretty impressive and exciting to see. And the number nine spot is an interesting one. I did a partnership with Ctronics and I unboxed two of their home security cameras. This video from 2022 continues to get views and this year got 7,900 views, which is pretty wild. I don't know if they're running advertising campaigns to supplement or boost awareness and get people searching for their product. I'm not sure, but it continues to surface and it's pretty cool to see. And the last one on the list, the number 10 video. Again, this is a video from last October and it was one of the collaborations we did with Now on their Mountocaster AME2. We unboxed and did a quick demo of it. And that video got 62, almost 6,300 views this year. Really cool to see that product continuing to get surface and traction on the channel. So yeah, that is the year in review, guys. What content performed well? How many views did it get? How much revenue did we make? It is a bit of a decline revenue-wise from 2022, but all of my other metrics are up. And right now, I really am focused on growth and continuing to expand and develop the channel. YouTube is a component of my side hustle business structure, but it's not the only one. Maybe one day we'll see some higher and higher revenue numbers coming in, which would be fantastic. But for now, I just want to say thank you all, 320,000 of you for watching the videos on my channel. Thank you to the 449 of you who subscribed this year. Thank you to all 2,448 of you who are subscribed for hanging out with us. I hope we can hit 3,000 subs in 2024. Happy New Year to you and your family, and we'll be back again soon with some more videos.